Hey everyone, it's Kevin, and in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about how often and how to weigh yourself. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video, and if you want to speak with me, there is a link below. Start your YouTube channel today, check out the Creative Business Academy by Asatino Artist, there is also a link below. How often should you weigh yourself? Good question. There are multiple schools of thought on this. Yes, how often should you weigh yourself? There are different, different ideas about this. Some people say you should never weigh yourself. There's the, you know, the haze, the health at any size movement. Just throw away the scale, you know, take this scale and throw it out the window, something like that, because your weight doesn't matter and it causes too much trauma. I get where they're coming from. It can be abused. It can cause way too much distress. It can be an unhealthy distraction. However, research has shown that people who use scales consistently reach their goals. Why? I think because it keeps you accountable. So there are both extremes. I kind of go in the middle. I like to say that you should weigh yourself at least once a week, but never more than once a day. If you're weighing yourself more than once a day, ask yourself why. Your weight isn't gonna change in three or four hours. Remember, weight loss is a long-term goal. It's not a four-hour goal. So don't weigh yourself more than once a day. Now, once a week can give you some feedback and it's certainly better than going months at a time. However, if you step on a scale only once a week, you're not seeing the daily fluctuations and you might get discouraged or you might not get adequate feedback. So I like to do at least twice a week, separated by three to four days. So don't wear yourself Sunday, Monday, and then wait until the next Sunday. Why don't you do a Sunday, Wednesday split or a Sunday, Thursday split? That way you're getting feedback at least every three or four days. If you wanna wear yourself every day, that's fine. I don't think that's necessary because it's like watching the stock market every single day. The stock market isn't gonna change that much. If you have a history of anorexia, bulimia, any sort of eating disorder, um, I do recommend that you step on the scale at least once a week. I don't recommend every day. I would do one or two times a week. That way you're getting feedback. What about the people like Hayes who say you should never step on the scale? I don't agree with it. I just, I don't. People have weight loss goals. People wanna lose weight for various reasons and we need to recognize that and we need to honor that. I don't think the answer is just to discount all of these goals and say, oh, weight doesn't matter. You shouldn't worry about your weight. That's just a social construct. That, come on, that's nonsense. People wanna look good, we're all vain, and some people wanna move better. People who lose weight it, find it easier to live and they're proud of themselves and they feel better and I don't think we should discount that. This is a topic for a different video, but if you're watching this, I'm assuming that you don't subscribe to that ideology that says that weight doesn't matter and you should never lose weight for any reason. There are good reasons to lose weight and if you are trying to lose weight, then you've gotta have a scale like this. So how do you deal with daily fluctuations? Just recognize it for what it is. Expect those fluctuations. It's not a big deal. It's gonna go up, it's gonna go down. You can be really good and not see the scale move. Fine, it's, that's gonna happen. Stay the course, keep making healthy decisions, keep focusing on the behavior. Remember what your goals are, remember why you're doing it. On the other hand, you could have a day where you're really sloppy and you're not following the plan and then the scale drops. So it kind of works both ways. I will say that if you are overeating, eating at night, binge eating, the scale is probably gonna go up over time. Uh, so you do need to be diligent, but don't worry about those daily fluctuations. If you just focus on healthy behaviors every day, you're gonna see that scale drop over time. How do you track weight? I like to use spreadsheets. I'm a spreadsheet guy. I don't like to write things down. I'd like to keep everything in a nice database. And then I have historical records. Not like I ever look back at what my previous weights were, but I like to keep monitor weight and then body fat and then the date. And then I can track my progress over time. When you're trying to lose weight and you're trying to reach a goal, it is important to look at progress. So if you kind of hit a plateau and you will hit a plateau, by the way, you can look back and see where you were and you can see the progress that you made and it's easier to stay the course. If there is one message about this video, it's stay the course, don't give up. There's no reason to go back. Why would you do that? Just because you haven't made progress, just because the number hasn't gone down in the last few days, you're just gonna quit and go back. There's no benefit to that. Then you're just gonna feel more miserable. Then you're, then you're going to lose any progress that you've made. Trust me, it's not worth it. Just stay the course. I also wanna say, don't obsess about the number on the scale. Focus on behavior each and every day, and the number will take care of itself. 
is you get sloppy and then you forget why you're doing it and you forget what your vision is it's it's really easy to go back don't do that step on the scale once or twice a week okay don't be afraid of it focus on behaviors focus on your hunger okay honor your hunger it's okay and feed yourself appropriately you don't need tons of food to satiate hunger i have other videos on how to manage appetite and cravings you can go back and watch those but the point of this is to focus on the behavior the number is just feedback that's all it is it's giving you a measure on your performance this doesn't mean that you should just starve yourself for multiple days to get that number to go down that's not good either so you want to do this the right way you want to feed yourself what you need but you also want to leave a deficit so that you make that number go down do not obsess over the number it is not worth it you have other goals in life i hope you have other goals in life i hope you have other things to focus on in your life so if the number isn't what you want it to be it isn't a bad day and don't let it ruin your day uh, so many of my days have been ruined because the number was wasn't what i wanted it to be listen it's just a number okay and if the number isn't going down focus on what you're doing right focus on what you're doing wrong and make some corrections you can have a really awesome day even though the number isn't what you want it to be i used to have an unhealthy obsession about the scale i put way too much importance on it however I still use it. I like to get feedback. I like to know that I'm doing things right. I like it. It's right there. I've bought it. It's not hard. It's not a bad habit to implement. I wake up, I do my workout, take a shower, and then I step on the scale. Okay, It's not that hard. It is not abnormal behavior. There's nothing wrong about stepping on a scale and looking at the number. It's only wrong if you allow the scale to dictate your behavior and it affects your disposition. Remember, your behavior leads to your goal. So if you have a certain weight loss goal, focus on the behavior first. Don't focus on the weight and then modify your behavior based on the number on the scale. How often do you weigh yourself and what type of scale do you use? Let me know below. So this is how I weigh myself. I use this scale here. Let's do this Ironman Tanita. It's a really good scale. It cost me $140 when I bought it three years ago. I need to wash it. But when I hit one, so age, gender, height, and then I can set my activity level, although I'm not 33 anymore, so I need to update it. Uh, and then when I step on it, it shows me my weight, my body fat, my the amount of muscle mass that I have, my metabolic age, my hydration level. If I had to do it again, I would buy a scale that shows me weight and maybe body fat. This uses what you call bioelectrical impedance, and so it sends a signal through your body. It's not the most accurate method. If you want to know what your body fat percentage is, you still need to get a DEXA scan, D-E-X-A, dual energy x-ray absorption. That's still the gold standard for body fat. I don't think they do the hydrostatic weighing anymore. Nobody has the equipment to do that. So once in a while, I like to get a DEXA scan because that tells me a true reading. So you don't have to spend $150 on a fancy Tanita scale like this. I spent that much because, I don't know why, because I like fancy stuff and because I use this consistently. And a Tanita like this will last seven, eight years. So the cost per use is really low. But just keep in mind that the body fat percentage on a scale like this is probably not the most accurate. You can still use traditional methods like calipers, okay? Although these are still not the most accurate things in the world because there's user error um, so but it's, it's just another way to to measure your progress i think the best way to measure it without looking at numbers is to use a little tape measure like this you know what you use at the clothes store when you're measuring hip size and waist size i i take four measurements i measure my chest i measure my waist i measure my hips and then i measure my thighs that gives me a good indicator if i'm making progress so if the scale is kind of going like this if I measure myself here and the numbers are good, then I know that the scale is giving me some noise. So I use my body weight scale and then I use my tape measure. And then once in a while, I might use something like this. You can also measure your neck circumference. There's a lot of fat that accumulates around the neck. You look at obese people, they have, usually have a lot of fat around here. That's another indicator. But this is really the best way in 2020. I wish body weight skills like that were 99% accurate that would be great but they're not 
the thing is you don't need all of these features look at all those features on there it's nice to have i guess it's nice to know what your bmr your basic metabolic rate is your bone density it's nice but you don't have to you can get a 20 or 30 dollar scale at target and it's going to tell you your body weight you need to measure yourself at the same time on the same scale in similar conditions use the bathroom first i try to go 12 hours without water or food so i stop drinking around 8 p.m because i don't want to wake up in the middle of the night and then i'll weigh myself around 8 a.m after my workout after using the bathroom after doing a little bit of work and then i'll rehydrate after that so remember same scale same time one or two hours after waking up and minimal to no clothing okay to summarize how often should you wear yourself at least once but not more than once a day i think once or twice a week is fine you can do every day if you have a history of dieting and obsessing about your weight probably shouldn't do every day buy a decent scale i like tanita tanita makes really fancy ones they make basic ones i would just buy a basic one all you need is weight and body fat and even the body fat meter isn't that accurate if you're really concerned about body fat get a dexa scan you can find one in any medium to large city keep a spreadsheet you can do paper i prefer computer but just track your progress tracking is really important for reaching your goal and then how should you do it remember don't forget to measure yourself and then when you step on the scale same time same scale minimal to no clothing one to two hours after waking up and before you drink or eat anything hope you found this video educational and entertaining don't forget to subscribe and if you want to speak with me there is a link below if you liked this video i'm sure you'll like one of the other videos that you see on the screen click one of them and i'll see you there